have been car camping by myself deep in the Ocala National Forest for the last few days now. It is my last night here and I just realized I haven't really shown you around that much. So we are going to run to the restroom and then I am going to show you all around my site. And then what you really want to see, I'm going to show you how accessible we are to the trails that take you to some beautiful natural springs here in Florida that are basically what Florida's famous for. Well, one of the things Florida's famous for. One of the positive things Florida's famous for. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm Heather. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Heather's Hikes and Adventures. And as I said, we have been on an adventure in the woods in the Ocala National Forest to be exact. I got here on my birthday and I have just been really soaking up the relaxation. You can access the Juniper Wilderness area from here on the Florida Trail. So really, if I were feeling my normal self, I would be able to put in some miles here to show you too. But as you know, if you're no stranger to the channel, I have not been feeling 100% or even 75 or 50. <laughs> you get it. So I've just been relaxing, soaking up all of the gorgeous old growth trees around me. Y'all know how I am about trees. And um, looking at the beautiful springs. In fact, we are going to head down there later and do a little bit of reading and relaxing at the main spring if it's not too crowded. If I get brave enough, I might take a dip in. It's a little chillier here than it was initially supposed to be, which makes the spring feel nice. But then there's the whole getting out part where you freeze. <laughs> so TBD on that part. However, I am going to shut up and go show you the things that I said I was going to show you. And then we'll relax, hang out a little bit. You can see how I've been spending my time while I've been here. I'm either going to make a big salad for dinner or I'm going to cook up some mushroom ravioli. It depends on my level of laziness at that point. <laughs> so again, TBD. But let's shut up and let me show you where I've been camping. All right, let me show you around my site really quick. I'm site number 21, which is conveniently located right next to the trail. If you walk that way, it takes you down to Fern Hammock Spring, which is temporarily inaccessible, unfortunately. It's gorgeous though. And then if you go this way, it takes you to the Head Spring at Juniper Springs and the historic mill house. Now let's check out the site. So each site here comes with a really good sized picnic table. Then you also get a fire pit and grill, a lantern hook, a nice large tenting area. And then here, because we are in bear country, any scented items that are not locked in your vehicle will go here inside the bear locker. And if you don't know, you just reach in and there's a lever that you can push. There we go. That locks it and unlocks it. Now let's see what I'm working with inside. You've already seen my new spring setup tour, but this is how I've been living the last few days. I really like having my little coffee station set up here and then I can easily slide it off to access my fridge. I think the fridge is more efficient in this spot too, it seems to be. And then I have all of my important stuff hanging on little hooks right there. I've got my table if I need it and my portable DVD player set up. Got my power stations ready for charging, my seating area. It's really working out for me so far, and I've found that this trash can is holding about three to five days worth of trash, so pretty good. All right, bathrooms look like they're in good shape. Accessible shower. And then the rest all have little private benches, hooks, 
and then the shower. <clears throat> the campground rules. After hour number, and they have a dishwashing room where you can do your dishes because of the whole bear thing. There's Tara. See, she's right on the path. So that's the only downside is that uh, there's a lot of through traffic coming right by my site, but there's plenty of space and it hasn't really bothered me. It's been pretty quiet. I do think that there was either a bear or a wild hog. I'm thinking wild hog rooting around at my site last night. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera, but you can see. Oh, that's my shadow in the way. Let me get out of the way here. None of this was rooted up yesterday evening before I went to bed. I'm guessing hogs because I feel like I would see a bear print. And it looks like there, like maybe that was a hoof print. But here too, these are fresh from last night. I don't know, at one point I thought I heard something right outside my van and I almost yelled, nope, <laughs> to scare it away. But apparently there was something. What do you think? Let me know below. as I was coming to the end of my lollygagging and getting ready to walk to the springs, I spilled water all over, so those towels are soaked now. I'm going to hang them out to dry in the setting sun, and then we'll head that way. Check out the main spring. I think we're going to scout that one out for tomorrow. I want to go right at 7.30 when the sun comes up to see that beautiful steam coming off of it the time being. I'm going to show you Fern Hammock so you know where it is, even though I can't actually access it for you. No, I'm not wearing proper shoes, but we're not going very far today. Take a little detour to the restroom real quick and then we'll head on. Alrighty, here we go. to see if I could access it from that side yesterday and I could not so and this side up here is blocked off too so I'm not sure where we can go as the trail is here and as far as I know this is the way that you would be able to access it with the other boardwalk closed but the boardwalk that connects to the head spring, I believe. This is Fern Hammock. This is the bridge you normally would walk to access it. So, not really sure what to do. This gives you an idea, though, peeking through this little opening of how beautiful the water is. Look at that blue. Ugh, I'm so bummed we can't get over there, you guys. That's how I get back to my campsite and then to the head spring the other way. But let's just see if it looks like this could go anywhere. The pavilion here. No access there. You guys, I may have found the cut around, fingers crossed, and toes. And speaking of toes, let me not stub my ingrown one. <laughs> I see where the amphitheater is. 
Let's see. I can confirm that there is no other way to get there. Oh well. Let's go to the main spring to scout. All right, back past Tara to the other spring. Goes this way now. Supposedly this one is a short one too, we'll see. Thinking both lead there, but since the sign's closer to this one, we'll do this one. Where the other trail connects, but I hear water ahead, so that must be the mill. Here is the historic mill house, which I believe was constructed by the CCC. Let's see if we can go in or if there's any info. Locked, but let's see if it says anything. The Juniper Mill House, 1935 and 36. Let's see if this is where. Oh, yep, on that side. Alright, so this is debt use only until sunset. This way and see if we can get a better look at the mill. But this is where I would come in tomorrow if I decide to swim. Let's see. It's definitely deep down there, but look, you can see the little fish swimming around. Got a ton of pavilions and seating up there for when they're busy if you want to eat. And then there's picnic tables and grills and benches everywhere. And our evening buddies. Kayak rentals are through that way. Something cool, let's see. Protecting Florida Springs. It's an old shelter. I'm noticing most of the shelters and pavilions are shut down. Well, back up, Heather, let's see what we're looking at. It was only explaining about the aquaphor. Looks like you've got some old stone grills and fireplace. Pretty cool. Here is the boardwalk that leads to Fern Hammock, but that's shut down right now. We've got some turkey vultures and black vultures. Hello! To that view. That would be cool. Let's see if we can figure that out real quick and then we'll head back to camp. Look at that blue. Oh, so tempting when nobody else is here right now. You can, I don't know if you can see all the little teeny fishies. There's so many. There's more trails going that way and that way. 
we're gonna go back around the way we came because I don't trust myself not to get lost. I'm gonna attempt one last try around this side just to see. Gosh, you guys, I'm so glad I checked before I went back. We did it. Back on what I think is the right trail, fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> right, home sweet home. Got my solar lantern hanging up on the lowest setting so that I can see if I need to get out and go this way for a pee break, you know, wherever the wild hog was rooting last night. <laughs> Okay, I gotta say, I decided on a big salad again, and I tried the tip where you put a paper towel in with your fresh produce to keep it from wilting and getting wet and soggy, and oh my goodness, it worked like a charm. Thank you to whoever told me that. I apologize for the lack in originality, but we're just doing some organic spring mix with a bunch of organic shredded carrots. I'm gonna fish out the organic sunflower seeds again. I'm going to use my last chicken tender chopped up with some of my Annie's Goddess dressing, also organic. And then we are just going to shake that all up and call it a night. And then I won't have any cleanup either. As you can tell, easy is the name of the game at the moment. Alright, just time to add the dressing and then mix it up and I am good to go while I finish up some working. All right, kindly don't be rude and comment on how hideous my hair looks at the moment. <laughs> we are ready to dig into our salad grande. Bon appetit. Yep, it is just as good as it was yesterday. <laughs> I am going to finish you. I cannot talk today. Do you see how tired I am? I am going to finish up this salad, finish up some work before I let myself go back on the YouTubes. And then I will wrap this up for the night. Stay tuned because if I do forget to say goodnight either way, hopefully I won't. But um, you know what? I'm just going to wrap it up for the night now and say goodnight so I don't forget. And then in the morning, we're either going to check out the spring first thing, hopefully to see the steam rising since it's going to be super cold. Or if I'm extra motivated and get packed up right at sunrise, we might go for a scenic drive down some of the forest roads and look for bears. We'll see. Alright, good night. See you in the morning. I'm packing up early, but the nice couple across from me invited me to join their fire yesterday evening if I wanted to. And I felt so bad for turning in early. I'm going to go ahead and donate my firewood to them that I never ended up using right after I make a cup of coffee for the road. Good morning, by the way. It is chilly out there again. 44 degrees Fahrenheit. I was not expecting this. I took out all of everything except my hand warmers, my heated jacket, my heating pad. I was like, oh, I won't need these. <sighs> Anywho, I did all right while I was sleeping, but I'm cold now, so I'll see you in a sec. Those are the nice people over there that offered to have me join their fire last night since I was here by myself and they were worried I was going to be cold. So if that's you, hi, and thank you again. I really appreciate it. I hope you're able to use the firewood. I'm actually pretty impressed with how quick I packed up this morning. So that tells me that this setup further is a success. I can stay organized. With that said, it's actually really early still. It's about 8.15. I'm gonna head out. And I'm going to take the long way, long way, this hasn't kicked in yet, home. 
instead of going back to the spring, because I'm not going to lie, your girl's frozen. It says it's 42 degrees Fahrenheit right now, and my body still is not handling cold temps too great. So we are going to keep going. I'm going to show you the campground loop on the way out so you can get an idea of what the campground looks like. And then we are going to take some back forest roads home looking for bears or other wildlife. Let's hit it, shall we? <clears throat> Goodbye, Juniper Springs Campground. I had a very relaxing time with you. I hope to come back again and swim in your beautiful spring. Maybe by then I'll have an underwater camera and I can take some really cool footage for you guys when I go swimming. All right, so you can see this is what one of the pull through sites look like, which are all of the ones on the outer loop. So you just kind of have woods behind you and nothing there. Those are mainly geared towards the RVs. And then the inner loop is mainly tent sites, although wherever you can fit is fine. This gives you an idea of what one of the back-end tent sites looks like. And we are now back at the exit. Hopefully we're going to pass another dump station so I can dump my trash. Skin you shall receive. Apparently their bear proof dumpsters are also heather proof. <laughs> I don't want to tell you how long it took me to figure out how to open that. But we are off. Let's go look for some bears. Alright, I think we're almost to the road that I want to take. Take the next left on NS13. I've got my camera on deck ready to go. Oops, forgot to stow one thing. Here we go, baby. Let's look for some bears. There are actually quite a lot of different forest roads back here where you can do either dispersed camping and then there's also a few hunt campgrounds that are only open during like the hunting seasons or seasonal campgrounds. And then there's a couple year round campgrounds, I believe. We are closest to Big Scrub Campground right now, which is one of the, I think, year round campgrounds just past the Centennial Trailhead for off-roading vehicles. That's another very popular thing around here. That's why I'm hoping on a Monday morning there won't be a ton of four-wheelers <laughs> that are pissed off at me going super slow looking for birds. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's something big and black in the middle of the road up there. I would like to think it's a bear, but my distance is always off and it's probably a vulture. TBD. Whatever it is, is gone now. Let's see if we see it off to the side. Ugh. Okay, I zoomed in with my big lens and it's a tom turkey all strutting and puffed out. So, definitely not a bear. <laughs> Darn. We'll see if it's still there when we get closer. Some of the side roads, the forest roads that people will take off-roading. And there's Mr. Turkey disappearing. Ooh, with a few Mrs. Turkeys. I don't know if you can see them or not. No, there they go. This forest road that I'm on right now is one of the main forest roads that the smaller forest roads and off-road trails offshoot from. So it's normally in pretty good condition, but you do have to make sure if it hasn't rained in a really long time or if it's rained a bunch that the road's okay before you come in here without a four-wheel drive. It's a beautiful morning. I'm going to try to not talk too much because I know the bumpy road is annoying to listen to. But this is a great area of the forest to look for. <laughs> there goes my dash cam thinking that I hit a rut. <laughs> um, I do have it ready in case anything runs across. But it's a great spot to look for Florida scrub jays, as well as all kinds of woodpeckers, deer, turkey, foxes and bobcats if you're lucky, bears if you're 
lucky. Anybody want a free boat? <laughs> Small matter of having to find somebody, you know, to pull it out of here. shutting these roads down in a couple days for a live exercise, but I just thought it was kind of a cool thing to show you that you don't often see. And see beyond there is an active military training zone, so we will not be breaching that today. All right, back on the hunt for bears, not bombs. That's always been my motto, bears, not bombs. like they should be hanging out there but so far no luck this is the other campground in here that i think is seasonal it's open right now though um yeah october 15th through april 15th you can see right through there seasonal so that's one of chill fred that's one of the ones that I was mainly telling you about. That's for hunt, uh, like hunting season. So, all right, I'm gonna not even try to talk to you right now. All right, we're back to cows and pavement. Bye for now guys!